production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing some old school Call of Duty 3. I found this in the back, in the bottom of my game cabinet, you could ask. I mean, you could say. I found it in a stack of games, and I was like, I played this game a couple times online, but I never played the single player. Let me see what that's about, and then I'll go from there. First of all, um, before I get started, please like this video and subscribe to our channel we're still trying to push to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year we're making good progress and that we're just under 700 if you could help us get past that 700 mark that would be great now back to this game this game right here six years old it came out in november of 2006 um it, well it's almost six years old it's 2006 whatever uh it's still action-packed it's still engaging i literally had to stop myself from playing this game because it was so good and I, I haven't had that uh, that feeling from a Call of Duty in a long time um, I, I know that the single-player campaigns of Call of Duty are very good but it's something about this one that just had me really uh, full-out engaged and wanting to see what was gonna happen next uh, I started playing this yesterday and I played some more today and I'm probably gonna end up playing some more tomorrow it's, it's, I mean it's a really good game and the fact that I haven't played the single-player campaign before is making it like it's a brand new game for me so um, this game is I mean, it looks pretty decent you know it's not like it's PlayStation 2 graphics or, or regular Xbox graphics it's, it's on Xbox 360 it's not a bad game and uh, I'm not playing online anymore because online is kind of dead and the match goes on forever. The thing I don't like about online that I'm glad they got rid of is that you don't have... Well, I, we played uh, Capture the Flag. That was the only game mode that I could get into. And it was Capture the Flag, when you die, you have a delayed respawn, which I don't like. I hate delayed respawns. I don't like it at all, but I understand that it's a concept that needs to happen in some game modes. So if I'm able to get online and it, it just so happens to be a bunch of people playing in a lobby and that lobby is for Team Deathmatch and they don't have the delayed respawn, then I would probably be able to enjoy it a lot more. Now, in this Call of Duty, when you get online, it's not like your regular modern Call of Duty. It's not even like World of War Call of Duty. You don't have the perks or any of that fly stuff that they add into the the uh, more modern Call of Duty games. You have like a rifleman, a heavy gunner, a recon, or a scout or something, and that determines what gun you will have in your setup. I don't think there's a way to customize your setup. I haven't found a way to do that yet, and I honestly, I don't think there is. It's really basic, and it's really stripped down. I mean, it's like bare bones. It's like a bare bones version of bare bones that you would find in regular modern Call of Duty, either Black Ops or uh, Modern Warfare. So if you have played it, then you understand what I'm talking about. If you haven't played it, I would definitely see if you could find this game really cheap you know, maybe like five or ten dollars, or maybe just three to five dollars or so, and check it out, man. The single player is really good. Multiplayer is different than what you would expect from a Call of Duty franchise, and it's something that everybody who is a fan of Call of Duty or is even, you know, remotely a fan should check out. So I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. Thanks for watching the video. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.